Introducing the Everest Minimally Invasive XT Spinal System from K2M, Complex Spine Innovations. As an extension of the Everest Spinal System, Everest MIXT offers the core features and benefits of Everest technology through a minimally invasive approach. These features and benefits include an enhanced dual lead thread pattern, allowing for quick insertion and demonstrated pullout strength, a mixed material tulip designed to minimize splay in the tulip head and improve mechanical performance, a poseable friction head to assist with in situ positioning of the screw, a simplified approach to set screw insertion with a square thread design, facilitating set screw introduction while reducing the potential for cross threading and dual diameter rod capability, allowing for the use of 5.5 and 6.0 diameter rods. The XT screw is designed with rigid closed-top break-off extension tabs to assist with minimally invasive rod passage. Built-in threads within the extension tabs allow for 25 mm of internal rod reduction. Streamlined instrumentation allows for simplified extension tab removal after final locking of the construct. Upon removal of the extension tabs, the XT screw is compatible with all Everest system instrumentation, providing a versatile option for users. Position the cannulated perfect scalpel over the guide wire and advance through the fascia to create a consistent fascial incision. In preparation for tapping the pedicle, place the inner dilator over the guide wire and advance through the muscle to the pedicle, ensuring a flush position with the bony anatomy. This is followed by the outer dilator. Prepare the pedicle for screw insertion by advancing the all tap over the guide wire and into the vertebral body. External markings on the tap provide a reference for how far the tap has advanced into the bone. Load the appropriate screw onto the Everest MIXT screw inserter. Grasp the implant by the shaft of the screw and apply a downward force to engage the screw into the hexalobe fitting of the Everest MIXT screwdriver shaft. First, thread the thumb knob in a clockwise direction until the implant is securely attached to the inserter. Second, pull up on the thumb knob of the Everest MIXT screw inserter to lock in engagement. Advance the Everest MIXT screw inserter over the guide wire. Once the screw is satisfactorily positioned, pull down on the thumb knob of the Everest MIXT screw inserter to disengage the locking feature. Rotate the thumb knob in a counterclockwise direction to detach from the implant. Prior to rod insertion, attach the alignment tool to a palm or T-handle while in a fixed position to align the screw heads. Place the long MI rod calipers into the most cranial and caudal screw housing to determine the appropriate rod length. Load the hex end of the rod onto the rod inserter and secure by fully tightening the dial. Insert the rod by using the tapered tip of the rod to slide through the muscle tissue from screw head to screw head. The XT screw allows the closed top cap to be removed to facilitate open tab rod passage if preferred. Attach the set screw to the split tip provisional driver by first rotating the dial of the driver counterclockwise to the open position. Engage the split tip of the driver with a set screw and rotate the proximal dial clockwise to secure the set screw to the driver. Thread the set screw between the extension tabs until the rod is secured within the tulip. For an open tab construct, the use of screw caps to facilitate set screw insertion and rod reduction. Place the screw cap on top of the open extension tabs. Insert the set screw through the screw cap and down the extension tabs into the implant housing until the rod is secured within the tulip. If more than 25 mm of rod reduction is needed, the tab reduction tunnel may be utilized to provide a total of 35 mm of reduction while simultaneously reinforcing the tab. Slide the instrument down towards the screw head until the instrument engages with the reduction slots on the exterior of the extension tabs. Once engaged, rotate the proximal knob clockwise to begin reduction. External markings on the tab reduction tunnel provide a reference for needed depth until the rod is fully reduced. Attach the set screw to the split tip provisional driver and insert it into the cannula of the tab reduction tunnel and into the implant housing. The tab reduction tunnel can be used to final tighten the set screw with the use of the anti-torque handle. Slide the anti-torque handle over the tab reduction tunnel until it is properly seated on the instrument. Place the torque indicating wrench down the cannula of the tab reduction tunnel. In addition to the tab reduction tunnel, 
Final tightening may also be achieved by using the anti-torque handle and the stabilization tube. Attach the anti-torque handle to the stabilization tube and slide the stabilization tube over the extension tabs until it is fully seated over the XT screw. External markings indicate proper alignment. Insert the torque indicating wrench into the cannula of the stabilization tube to complete the final tightening. Slide the removal tool over the XT screw until the distal tip of the instrument is flush with the top of the screw head. Break the tab off aggressively by rocking the instrument back and forth until the entire tab is fully detached from the screw head. The Everest MIXT Spinal System from K2M Complex Spine Innovations